Welcome to another installment of 15 Minute Masterpieces. My name is Lisa Magyar, and a lot of times I get asked, what are my inspirations? How do I come up with my ideas? Um, a lot of times they just pop to me or I'm you know, inspired by something. So today, as I was getting ready, and yes, I did get ready for this, I came across this brooch, and I thought it was so cute, and it's so fun, and I'm not really a brooch wearer, but I'm really drawn to it, so I thought, well, how fun would that be to see if we can't use that as our inspiration piece for today. So I am, as usual, going with my large round brush, and I'm gonna start with some orange, always adding some water to get the flow. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start sketching out our basic shape here. See if I can't get this kind of shape going. And I want to fill my canvas, even kind of come off the canvas some. And as always, we're just working with a base, getting our basic colors on and building on top of that. So also as usual, it's gonna be a little abstract. It may not, proportions may not be perfect. It may not look exactly like our inspiration piece. We're just gonna have fun with it. Go into some of these pinks. I'm doing dobby dobbies, and it's a very technical term for painting, dobby dobby. Just kind of dobby dobby on there. Changing your brush direction kind of changes the look of the dobbies. Bring it back to a point. Pick up another color of pink. So we can get some depth in there by adding these different shades. I mean, I'm working kind of thick because I want the color to cover in one spot and instead of taking the time to layer and layer and layer to get solid colors. But I kind of like how it's mixing with that uh, yellow-orange color. So well, that kind of sets up. I'm going to switch brushes. Hands don't always work. And I'm just mixing some black, and I'm going to pick up some of this blue. Just laying in some fun little spots. And again, just kind of letting it go right off the edge there. And then mimic what I just did on the other side. 
It doesn't have to be exact, just close. Go into my red because my brooch has some like, ruby red eyes. Just getting some of that light pink in there as well. And maybe tone down some of that yellow underneath. Okay, I think like last time we're going to switch to a larger brush just because we do have to move kind of fast. I'm just kind of going into this light uh, aqua teal turquoise color. I'm just working randomly. There's no real pattern or anything, just dobby dobbies and step back every now and then, make sure you like what you're doing. Fill these in a little bit more, get some smaller ones. Looking to get arty in Enid, Oklahoma? Join us at Creative Arts Enid, 222 East Maple. Coming in with this kind of darker color, letting it blend a little bit, adding some depth and color into our bug's wings. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Sorry, I realize I'm not being very chatty again today. I'm just going to come in with some white. 
little twinkles here and there. I'm just getting into black with my smaller round. Create some stripes on the body. A little bit more water, it's all scritchy scratchy. I'm using leftover paint um, that I keep in this handy dandy container that keeps it, supposed to keep it wet, but it's been a few weeks. You see, we kind of give it a little curve that makes it look like it's a curved body. Um, so another color that I've gotten today that I don't usually use is gold. So we'll see this is going to show up. Usually colors like this would have to be whited out first or blocked out with white. So maybe we'll kind of go up and over because our paints are still wet because we're trying to do this in 15 minutes. And uh, they're going to mix a little bit. Let's see if we can be kind of quick and dirty with this. Okay, so that leg is going just right off the page. Another one. He's got his hands up on his hip. And the last one's going to kind of come out and again go off off the uh, canvas there. But my idea was to kind of outline in gold. I guess I probably should have done that first. But I'm just going to keep kind of playing with it and finishing this out. So I want to thank you again for joining me for another 15-minute masterpiece. And uh, join me again next time. Thank you.